Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Dave, and I'm just going to share a thought with us this evening um, in the midst of our lockdown and starting the extended lockdown now for another two weeks. Um, that I think we've done a, a good job of encouraging one another. I think we've done a good job of trying to remain focused on the Lord. Um, but I think something that we may not um, say enough uh, is that um, sometimes we struggle in the midst of this. And sometimes it's, it's been hard to, to do this. Um, it's been hard to be by ourselves. It's been hard to, um, to be with the family, um, to, to be looking after kids if you're in that situation. Um, and I just want to just bring us to, to a passage of encouragement um, that acknowledges the fact that life is hard sometimes. Um, and that is Matthew 11, 28 to, to 30. And Jesus says these words, Come to me. All who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What a beautiful passage. What just a, a message of encouragement of come to me, all those who are laden with, with just the weight of living um, and, are, and, are, and who are laboring. Um, and those are, he's talking to Christians here. And, and he carries on and he says in verse 29, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. And in the midst of this, this yoke um, is not just a picture of an oxen yoke that would go over the shoulders of oxen to keep them walking in a straight line. But yoke in the biblical text is, um, refers to teaching too. And so Jesus is saying, take my, take my teaching upon you, learn from me. Um, and the yoke, the teaching of the Pharisees at that time was one of works based. It was, it was heavy. It was, um, you need to do this to earn the love of God. But the yoke of grace says that Christ has already completed the work. That we are loved not because we have earned it, but we are loved because God loves us and God is love and by the grace of Christ. And so take my yoke upon me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart and I will give you, you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And I think it's, it's good for us to acknowledge that, that life is hard. And that the Bible doesn't cover over the fact that life sometimes is hard. But the Bible acknowledges it. It owns that life is hard. But it doesn't say to us that you are just in your own in this. Or cover it up and make sure that you just present a happy face of everything is okay. But it says, yes, life is hard. But I am with you in the midst of your trial. I am with you in the midst of this heaviness. But I want to take it a step even further than that and to show you... In Matthew 28, not only does Jesus acknowledge the, the weight of living, as we saw in Matthew 11, but he also commissions us in the midst of our weakness to fulfill the commandments of Christ. And where do I get this? In Matthew 28, verse 16 and verse 17. This is the Great Commission. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But get this next, these next three words, but some doubted. And then Jesus commissions them. He says, and Jesus said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I've commanded you. And be, behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. And so I love that Jesus acknowledges their doubt. Now, understand this when we would speak of doubt, that in no way do the, does the Bible encourage doubt. And in no way am I saying today that if we are, 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 have doubts in our faith, um, it's just okay. Um, well, it is what it is. But the Bible acknowledges that we are weak, that we have doubts. But notice this, that the doubts that the disciples had, even though they had seen him died and resurrected from the grave, Jesus acknowledges their doubts and he still commissions them to his service, even in the midst of their weakness. Now that is massive for us because our weakness does not disqualify us from the worship of God, number one. And our weakness does not disqualify us from the service of God, number two. And so I don't know what you are going through today. I don't know the weight that you are carrying on this day. I don't know the week that you've had, but I'll just encourage you. Come to Christ. 
know that his burden is light. His grace is merciful upon you. His love for you is not based on how well you've performed this week or however long you want to put that down as a timeline. And he acknowledges our doubt. He acknowledges our weakness. And he still loves us in spite of that. What a gracious, loving God we serve. And then just to finish with this thought from verse 20, that he is with us always to the end of the age. Be blessed, everyone.